Good morning, good afternoon, good night, guys. What is up? It's JoJo. This Tokyo trip was insane. So many cool things happened and some minor inconveniences. Well, one really big one, but we'll get into that later. As of right now, I will be narrating different parts of the vlog from my home with my cute new Tokyo Disneyland Mickey ears. So thank you so much for the support on the first class video. And we are just getting started. So much happens, like so much. Oh, I forgot to mention, make sure you stay until the end of the video because I'll give you a little tease of what's to come on this series. Holy moly. We're about to land. I'm seeing Tokyo for the first time. Japan. This is crazy. It's starting to set in. like that we're in Tokyo <laughs> we just got the all clear everyone's getting their bags and uh, we're about to head out <laughs> wow thank you so much wow our first steps in Japan oh boy oh boy Oh my gosh, different language. So for some of you, this might seem very trivial and like, Jojo, you're freaking out over the smallest things, but I have never been international like this. Of course, I've gone to Hawaii, which is still technically America, Canada. I've gone on cruises that brings me to different locations. But this is the first place where I'm just in a whole new world where like English isn't the primary language, where there's whole different customs. They have Uber here though, <laughs> that's good. Now I am gonna take my time because I don't wanna go too far down without jeets. We have to find them, we have to stick together. I wanted to use a bathroom, but I guess these aren't open. I don't know why, cause I can't read. <laughs> but yeah, after all of the hustle and bustle it took to get here, I really don't mind taking my time and not rushing this airport. Still no jeet though, he's somewhere, hopefully. Hey yo. <sighs> We made it. 14 hours later. Didn't feel like it though, right? How was the flight for you, good? Dude, the flight was honestly fantastic. Yeah. Like my flight from New York to LA was worse than <laughs> Which is strange, but Tokyo, we did it, we're in Japan. We're here. Somehow, well, let's, let's we need get- to get to the Airbnb. Let, let's, let's yeah, let's not, once we get into our home. Also, fun fact, they do have, oh, not, it was there, uh, but they, they, they have Uber. They do? They do. You know what's weird? I have cricket. I don't know if I have service here. <laughs> yeah, I was like, how'd you text me? I'm on the travel plan, but I don't know about you. I'm at that grade. When you go on an international trip, please make sure you talk to your cellular uh, provider about an international plan. Most will have something. For me, I was on Verizon, so all I had to do was call them, and for 10 additional dollars a day, I was on their international plan where I was able to text, call, and use my data. So basically, you have to show you proof of uh, vaccination or negative COVID test. And once you do that, they'll give you this pink slip. What does it say? I have no idea, but we are good. All the people in pink are making sure that we have this. We have definitely entered Japan, huh? <laughs> yeah, we have. I have never actually experienced communicating with someone who, you know, speaks a different language. And yeah, I'm gonna get, get culture, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna, learn, I'm gonna learn some phrases while I'm here for sure. Because like, us even trying to explain where we were going was a little challenging. Yeah, so. we're just playing, what's it called, charades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No one else is in here, so that's what we're filming, but like, the bathrooms are different. I'm assuming that's asking, did we enjoy our thing? Hit the English, see what happened to hit English. How'd you react? Yes, excellent, hit that excellent. Yay! Old meets new Tokyo, welcome! This is so exciting, everybody. Yes, sir. It's so interesting seeing the mascots of Tokyo. Like, I don't know who these two are. Also, they do have a hand sanitizer station. And then there's 
something that I can't read and they got guides. Even in the first hour of landing in Tokyo, Japan, their culture was so different and I was experiencing so many new things at once and I had one big takeaway, which I'll uh, talk about a little bit later in this video. Overall, that process of getting the bags and then going through customs was very, very simple and I felt really proud having it all done. You literally just had to scan your passport and then use a QR code that you got online. I couldn't record the process, but the best part is at the end, there was this huge like facial scanner. And if you did everything right, it would open up for you and it did, so that's awesome. But I did get a little too excited. I kind of left Jeep behind, so I really hope he's okay. No drones in Japan. As I stare at all of these times and I can't read Jeet, we did it. We officially made it into Tokyo. High five. Now what do we do? <clears throat> we need food, a home. Caffeine. Well, a home. Uh, yeah, that home first. That too. That too. That'd be nice. Parking, bus, taxi, line, free shuttle bus to Terminal Two, connecting flights. This is the airport we're in. There's rental cars over there. I kind of want to exchange money. Don't know where to do that. This is one of those rare times when I wish someone else was recording G and I because we were hilarious. We looked so lost because we were. We were doing loops around the same terminal area. We didn't want to go too far because we had no idea, like legitimately zero idea where we were. G, where do we, where, where do we go? You know, that's a, that's a question we're gonna have to solve together. I don't. We can take a bus, we can take a train, or we can take an Uber, or a taxi, or another plane. <laughs> a lot of options. Okie dokie, uh, let's see if Uber works. It seems to know where we are, which is good. Okay, right away, uh, <laughs> I'm seeing <laughs> yen instead of American money. That's good. One of my friends mentioned to me that the vending machines here go crazy, and I mean, there are a lot of different options. Like a lot. I did bring some money over from the States. Hopefully I'll be able to convert it here to yen. I wasn't able to find any money exchange centers from uh, USD to yen. However, there was an ATM. So I just carried around like 40 bucks of American money my whole trip and it, I didn't use it. So convert the money before you get to Japan. I got 20,000 yen, which equals to $162 American. This should be good for something. I kind of wish I broke it, but I don't know how to do that. Jeet was unsuccessful in uh, getting yen. Listen, can we talk about these robots they got in the airport? When you're rolling your suitcase, you can't go through here too quick, man. Don't want to be running they too fast. They got speed bumps. So they slow you down a little bit. You're not going anywhere like that. Look oh, at that. Oh, no. I like it, man. Everyone here, they take their time. They enjoy their life. But nobody's in a rush. I like it. <laughs> As we're still in the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Two things. One, the US dollar is stronger than the yen, so anything you purchase out there will be a little cheaper. At some point, we were getting full meals for seven bucks, which is amazing. And two, those little yellow things on the ground, they're not speed bumps. They're actually meant for blind people if they're walking sticks or canes or poles. Pretty cool. The Uber is expensive. 8,000, 11,000 yen is about $60. We figured it out. So we're gonna take either a train or a bus. We're thinking the bus. The bus is about a thousand yen and it's gonna take us 50 minutes to get there. That's a while. Yeah, longer than we expected. So we should buy our ticket. The next bus comes in about 30, 40 minutes. So we have time. Yeah, for the first time ever. <laughs> time to buy our bus ticket. 2100 yen for GNI. Putting that down. Got our change. Okay, we got our tickets and this is the directions to get to the bus. This is going to be a journey. <laughs> now I'm starting to understand him a little bit more. He was telling us to go past the elevator because it's not available right now. See that? That's nuts. Social distancing is still a thing here. All right. We are in Japan. We are breathing the air. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, and here's the bus station. We're not five though. We're number one. I guess I slept a little bit better because I feel a solid 60%. I feel a mild headache coming on, but G's hitting a wall right now. Listen, I was up editing, sleeping. I think I was sleeping maybe 30 minutes to an hour at a time. In and out. This last night. You see this? Do you see my eyes get closer to this? 
red. <laughs> there is actually. They're red. <laughs> okay, so we're chilling. We have about 20 minutes. And honestly, I'm very winded. I'm starting to get tattooed, but we can't. Say tattoo? What? You say tattoo? No, 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 no. I just said. <laughs> we got excited, dude. No, we. I'm trying to get a tattoo while we're here. That'd be cool. That'd be a cool vlog for you. Yeah. But uh, instead of chilling here and waiting for the bus, there's some stores over there. We gotta go look. We can't let our human limitations get the best of us. Listen, we're only in Tokyo once. Sleep when we're dead. Hanada Airport Garden. Sugar Bee Garden. Apparently this place is having its grand opening, so some of these stores aren't open yet. They're doing like their promotional material right now. They're so pretty. You're welcome, you're welcome. This is crazy. A matcha and sake ice cream store. They're still doing their production and everything. That's sick. We literally came here for the grand opening. This is the grand opening? No, well not right now, but like this whole area oh. is just new. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. As much as I would actually like to explore the open shops and restaurants, we have five minutes until the train comes. And after our plane situation, I don't want to even chance anything. Yeah, no, we need to get going. In my initial hour of being in Tokyo, Japan, <laughs> Japanese people are so respectful of other people. Like, insanely. Here is our bus, it has free Wi-Fi. Not only was everyone really nice and willing to help us get from one point to another. We're checking our bags in. This is gonna be a 50 minute journey to our home. But public transportation is silent. You're actually technically not allowed to use your phone for calls when you're on a bus or a train, just out of respect for everyone else around you, cause that's kind of loud. So everyone just stays on their phone and texts and G and I were like, what's going on? They don't even play a radio. Last one's on the plane, first one's on the bus. Let's go. <laughs> what a redemption arc. Uh, let's go all the way in the back. <laughs> okay. The cool kids. Thing. Well, we did it, everybody. We're on the bus. Going yeah, somewhere. Stop. Make sure we get off the right stop. Yeah, we're at the first stop. Um, this is nuts. We have no idea where we're going. This is so crazy. Like. Travel in general gets me excited when I go to somewhere I just don't know because like it's just everywhere you look at something new. It's just entertaining in itself. And I mean, we're taking it to a whole nevel, another level because we're very far away from home in a whole different country. We can't read anything, so. How often do you just get to throw yourself into a situation where like you just have absolutely no idea what's going on? Some people might get afraid of that, but G and I, we get excited. That's inspiration. <laughs> this airport is huge. We're going to so many different places. Now the bus oh, is about now, to get full. Okay, yeah, now we want people here. What is that over there? Dude, it looks like a Ferris wheel. All I know is when people get up, that's when we have to get up. Yeah, we're kind of spoiling the crowd, honestly. We're making it into the actual city now of somewhere. Good Station, this is us. We're officially I, in Japan. I have just become very grateful for these masks because it is Cold. Yeah, yeah. Was, this well, is helping a lot. I was gonna mention earlier, these masks are actually gonna keep us warm because we're not used to this weather right now. Ooh. Shout out my mom, I'm wearing a jacket, thank you. Ooh. There goes our bus. That was a nice bus ride. Very That's quiet, funky. it was weird though. Everyone was so quiet. Like, me talking right now, it feels good. A lot's gonna happen on this trip. <laughs> We go to Disney like three or four times. We have a staycation. We go to Universal Studios Japan. Tragedy strikes me, which I'm gonna explain later in the vlogs. Either way, buckle in and make sure you like this video because it's about to get insane, but like in a fun way. Entertaining and educational. The next vlog is gonna be us finding our home and exploring the actual city. Okay, I like that. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a learning experience and uh, I'm glad you're here to do it with me, Gene. Let's do it, man.
Right, Won't guys. Anyone else? Remember, every day is a blessed day to be alive, even when you're in Japan. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. No, seriously though, make sure you subscribe because the next vlog is going to be an actual party.